Hey guys, it is day 78 of our deep water culture Carolina Reaper grow. About three days ago we had our first flower open up and that was on this plant here. This is the one that's under the Mars Hydro LED and this is the plant that's under our CFL light. As you've seen in the other videos, these Seeds were started on the same day and we're using the urban hydroponics nutrient that we pick up off of Amazon. <clears throat> and I think we're starting to see that the CFL light isn't quite strong enough to promote really awesome growth compared to the LED. Let's take the camera off the tripod here and get a little closer look and see what we're looking at. So here is the pepper that's grown under the CFL. We have some pods setting in here, but they're relatively new, they're very small. And in here, we have pods everywhere under the LED light. See a flower right there. I mean, we have fruit just coming everywhere. I've tried to count now, and I'm up to at least 60 different pods on all these little plants. So this thing is gonna produce a boatload of peppers. Got one more flower back in there. Super excited to get our first pepper and overall loving the way that this grow has been going so far. This is the first time that I've grown peppers and the first time I've grown them hydroponically. So the results that we're getting off of this, and I'm not disappointed with this, with the light only being $60, it just looks like it's going to take a little longer. And just because of how this one was doing, I decided to trim it up a little bit more and take three cuttings from it and put it in my clone machine and those are actually taken off so we're going to have a few more plants going. So while we're here let's take a look at the roots and each system. So here are the roots from the plant under the LED. Huge roots. And here is the root system under the CFL. Not quite as big, and I'm not surprised by the size of each plant in comparison. When I first started this experiment, we were also growing another plant under the CFL and the LED with a different kind of nutrient to do a nutrient battle. And as we discussed in the two videos, both I started seeds twice in that and they both died. The seeds that we have that I started, um, I am using Urban Hydroponics and it's going very well. I feel it. like this has been pretty successful. What, we're lo what I'm looking forward to is the fact that winter is getting close to being done over here and I'm going to take a few more cuttings off of this plant and put the other cuttings that I've taken off of this plant and put them in soil and do some experiments outside in soil and hydroponics. Also, at our last trip to the hydroponics store I discussed how we had problems with uh, two different plants, or actually four plants total, dying with the sole brand nutrients. So he gave us a, a nice general hydroponics kit to try. So what I want to do um, is do an experiment outside because I'm running out of room with lights in here and test the general hydroponics, the sole brand nutrients, and the urban hydroponics using the cuttings so we know they came from the same plant we know they're healthy and just see which nutrient does better outside so stay tuned to that that's going to take a couple months obviously with the weather but i'm super excited about that and uh, i think i got bitten by the pepper bug as always like us subscribe check out our other videos and if you like what you see give us a shout out on facebook or something we're growing pretty fast here, and uh, we'd love to keep doing experiments, and every view we get counts. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.